Hey, welcome. Mike McMillan here. How are you? Thanks for stopping by my video. And today we'll be talking about building animations into your YouTube work. Um, it's easy to do something like this, or something like this, or something like this. I'll show you how to create animations like this. Okay? So the first thing that I did, I brought in a little video clip that lasts. Uh, Oh, what is this, 10 or 15 seconds? It's just me talking, no big deal. So what I'll do is come up here, get my text tool right there, click on the plus, and ScreenFlow builds in a block of text for me. There it is right there. Now, if you don't, for example, right here, if you don't want that backdrop, that black grayed out area behind the text, you can click on backdrop down here, it'll take it out. And it's okay if you've got something black to put it in front of, but I'm going to need that backdrop because I have a white background. Okay, so let's just type something in here. I'll click in this text block, hit Command A, that highlights everything. Um, why this? Why this method works? Okay, so I've got a block of text right here. This is not an animation. Okay, it's just a block of text I put in. And as you can see, when I play this, as soon as I get to this text block, it pops in just like that. Just like that. But that's kind of jarring and jolting, shocking, because it's bang, you know, right there. It pops in all of a sudden. So we can create an animation to make this a little bit softer um, input of your text. So what I'll do, any place in this text block right here. I'll highlight the block. Any place in here, I'll move my scrubber bar right there. <clears throat> and then I'll come up here and see this little clock, stopwatch, whatever it is. I'm going to click on that. And where it says action, I'll click on that. And it's created this yellow area, which is my video action, my animation. Okay? So one thing I'd like you to see is up here for duration, it's only half a second. And we're going to have to change that later because that, that isn't exactly what we want. So to get this animation to work right, we come to the beginning right here. And it's the beginning. Where do I want this text to be right here? Where do I want this text to be in the beginning of my animation? I'm going to move it way off my canvas so it doesn't show in the video at all. So then I move my scrubber bar to the end of that animation and I can now put this any place I'd like and do anything to it I want but I'm just going to move it keep it about in the same place. Okay so in the beginning my text is way off to the left and at the end it's right there. So let's play this and see what it does. Here comes the animation bang, it slides in there. Now the only bad thing about this is it happens so fast. That animation popped in so fast, it's kind of makes me dizzy. <laughs> so I'll click on the animation section, this yellow section, and I'll just drag it out. And I'll make it take more time. Okay? And so now when I play this, let's click to start it. So now when it comes in, it comes in more slowly. It's a little easier on the eyes, isn't it, to have it come in slow like that. So that's a simple text animation that you can create in ScreenFlow. Okay, now there are all kinds of other things you could do even with this simple animation. And for example, let's come in here and at the beginning of this animation, let's move this over so it's right here. Okay, that's good. And then what do we want to have happen to this by the time we get to the end of the animation right here? Well, suppose I take this and I move it off the screen up here. So now instead of bringing it in, this will take it off. See how it moves up there? Okay, now one bad thing, or maybe it's a good thing, is when this moves off, it kind of covers my face a little bit. And yeah, that may be a good thing. <laughs> but I think what I want to do is take this and at the end, let's, let's go back to the beginning. Okay, it's right here, like this. Now at the end of this animation, and bring this back down, at the end, this time, let's do this. Let's come up to, 
right here. Come up to the video tab right here. Okay. And let's give this, it says X, Y, and Z rotation. You can change any of these. Let's flip this so it goes kind of like, whoops, a little more. So flip it so it goes something like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it off the screen up there so we've got that flip thing going on. Okay, let's watch and see what that does. Here it comes. See how it flips as it goes off? Now here's another trick. Watch. See how that still goes across my face a little bit? Okay, so what we can do is at the end of this animation right here, let's go to the end of that animation right there. See where it says opacity? 100%? It was black and white text. I'm going to move that all the way down to zero. And that, that means as this goes across, it will fade away and get lighter and lighter and lighter. So let's just try that. That's just a little trick I use sometimes. Let's see what happens. As it moves off, see how it fades away so it doesn't quite cover my face as much? Maybe you'd like to have my face covered. <laughs> but see what I mean? I change the opacity and let it go off like that. So that's a simple text animation. And you can do the same thing and use images. It could be an image that you move across the screen or you change the opacity of or you flip or you rotate, anything like that. But that's how you can do a simple animation uh, with text and screen flow. Now let's move to something a little bit more complicated, not harder, but something a little bit more involved. Okay? Okay, well let me show you one other type of animation that you can do. Here's my video clip again. Okay, and I'll come up here to my media library right here, and I have an image, and I'm going to move this up, and I move this image underneath here. Oh, I need to show you something. I, I didn't trick you on purpose, but there's something going on that I haven't mentioned. Right here, this video clip, actually, I shot this with a green screen behind me. Okay, and let me just show you. Um, I've got the clip selected. I'll come up here. To the video section. See where it says chroma key? Let me uncheck that. This is the way this video clip really looks. Okay, it really looks like this. It's me talking in front of a green screen. Okay, let me highlight that. Now, when I click on the chroma key, it takes out all the green from my green screen. And this looks white, but it's really transparent now. So, I could have this clip with me talking okay and then when this comes in here's this image that I brought in here and because I used a green screen it is using me but all the green screen behind me disappeared it's now transparent so what I can do with this image that I brought in is I can expand it out make it bigger so it fills the entire uh, section there so what I'm doing is now talking and you can see that image behind me. Now, you don't have to use green screen effects, but I just want to show you because you can do something neat with this. So what I'll do right now is, I don't know if you can see this, but let me get this out of the way. When I shot this, whoops. When I shot this video, you can see, I think that that thing on the left is part of one of my lighting units. I don't know, there's a light right there, but I just use this section right here. Okay, and what you can do, I want to get that stuff out of there. And what you can do is click Control, click on one of the sides, drag it in, and just drag it in enough so that you get that crud out of there, the stuff that was in the background. Okay, so that's me talking. All right, now because I use that green screen effect, what I can do is move this over. And now when this plays, watch, there I am standing in front of this computer code, this image that I had. Okay, and that's fine. Um, let's even drag that out. We'll make it fit the whole thing. So I'm talking. And I used a green screen effect to get that to happen. Now, suppose that as I'm talking right about here, I want to get off the screen. I still want to be on the screen, but I don't want to block all this stuff behind me. So what I can do is select my video clip right there, okay? 
and then I will come up and make an animation. I'll click right there and see it built an animation in for me right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take my video clip now and I'm going to shrink it down just like that so that now I'm still talking in my video clip but I'm out of the way. They can see more of the code behind me. Okay, And I've still got a little white area. I'll push control again. Come down here. Okay. So now, just to show you what's going to happen, I'll play this and then we'll make some changes. It goes like this and then I come down there now I'm just in the corner talking. Okay, But that happens so fast I want to slow this down make it about this long. And we'll play that again. Here comes the clip. Here comes the animation. See how it took me and put me down in the corner so that I'm still talking but now they can see the image behind me. And a lot of people do that with their video clips. That might be a little slower than I want. I'll speed it up a little bit. I'll move that down. Let's try it one more time. Okay, there I am talking. Here comes the animation. It moves me down to the corner and I still have that image behind me. The image could be anything, okay? It could be anything at all. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, something like that. So a lot of people do that because it still keeps you on the screen but it lets more of the screen, the image behind you, show through. Now, if you're not sure about how to do green screen effects, check my channel because I've got a, a great video on how to set them up and do that. All you need is a green screen. And I didn't even buy a real green screen. I just bought some green fabric to use. But you can check that video out. Um, go to my channel and check it out. So, again, here's the video. We come in. I move it down. And now I'm still talking, but now that shows through back behind me. Let me blow this up a little bit. We'll do it one more time. There I'm talking. The image is behind me. Now the animation builds in. It takes me down and off to the side of the screen so that we can do that. So that's kind of a neat technique. Okay? So basically, that's it. Just remember that it's this button right up here. You know, if you want to put another animation in, it's this button right here. You click that, you go to Add Action, here's your video action. Whatever you want it to look like in the beginning, you get it positioned. Wherever you want it to be in the end, you do this and then you move it around or whatever you want to do. Like, you know, I could take myself and put myself over there if I wanted to. So, again, like that, that moves me over and, uh, you know, Again, I would do this slower. You don't want to move around too much, make people dizzy. But uh, <laughs> So again, I could do that. Move myself over so that now they could see this part of the screen. Okay, that's the idea with animations.